the majority of people who I see wearing a Daytona, it still has the stickers on it. If I'm going to wear a watch, I'm going to wear that watch. The stickers are off. I don't care. I, I like the scratches on my watch. I had my Explorer polished once and I hated it. I, I nearly sold it after polishing it because I thought this, it's not my watch anymore. No, just wear it, enjoy it, take the stickers off. The thing that bugs me about that Daytona, it was, it was around forever. And look, it started as a difficult watch to sell. It started as a you know commercial failure. And it, and it didn't ever really, really peak until the ceramic models came out. I might be wrong, but to me, it seemed that when the ceramic models came out, suddenly this watch was on fire. The one thing I'll say in the defense of the Daytona that we've sort of come upon through our discussion about this watch whenever it comes up is that it doesn't have an alternative really in terms of a slim yes. automatic yeah. chronograph.